So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the subtractive pipe to actually remove material from your base stock or your base object along a path. And I'll show you that with a normal path and an app, a part, which is a spiral we've been using to get this effect. And you can see here, we've got the subtractive pipe sitting there. We've got the, the subtractive pipe is made up of a profile, which, is just, which has been removed, and also a copy of the spiral, which is actually the path. And that spiral is the original part, which has been pulled in there. And obviously we've got our base, which is just a square. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm gonna be doing next. We can actually use this subtractive path, um, subtractive pipe there to actually subtract material from our base object, which is gonna be a body. I'm gonna create a new sketch on there. X, Y plane, okay. And I'm gonna have a simple body of a normal square. Close and pad that square to two mil. I'm running through this quickly just to show you and then we'll do it for our spiral. So we've padded that. We're going to now add two sketches. So we've selected our body, create a sketch, XY plane, and this is going to be the path that I want to follow. So I'm going to use the polyline just to create a simple path across there. And I stuck it on the bottom, so you can see it sitting there. That's okay. Let's escape to close the polyline, close that, and you can see if I move the pad, you can see the path sitting there. Now I want to create the profile, so I'm gonna select the side that I want this to intersect, so this side, and then Let's do a bit of renaming. Uh, rename that to path. So this sketch is going to be sitting on there. New sketch, and I'm going to call it profile. And I'm just going to select the profile I want, so it's just a simple circle. This circle is going to appear outside the actual profile, and that's what's going to be removed, this little bit in here. So this sits outside, and this is what's going to be removed. So I can actually change, so I want this a bit deeper, so I'm gonna go a bit deeper there. Close that. Rename that to profile. So I've got my profile selected. Select on my sweep selected sketch along path or to other profiles and remove it from the body. Click on that. Your profile's already been selected because I've selected it. Um, click on edge, click on your edge, and that's only done one part there. So let's remove that edge. By removing it, it's actually put the path in there, as you can see. We can actually remove that path if so desire. And what we would actually do is click the object and select the object itself, which will create this path through there. So you can see how that's taken there. If I hit OK, that's been removed from our object and we've got our subtractive pipe there. And if we open up there, we can see our profile. There's our profile and there's our path. So let's try it with the spiral now. I'm just gonna come out of that Close without saving, create a new, go on to our part design and create a body, create a sketch on the XY plane, okay that, create a simple body, just a square as usual. Bring that out a bit, hit escape, let's bring that out, close that, jump into Let's pad that first. So two millimeters. 
Okay, that. Now I'm going to create the spiral on here. So jump into the part. Select the creation of parametrized geometric primitives. Click on the spiral. Click create and click close. And that's create the spiral. Let's just get rid of the pad so we can see the spiral. And what I'm going to do is go into the pad, hit space on the sketch so I can actually see the sketch. Click on the spiral and increase this. Uh, rotations, a few more rotations. Now I want the spiral to actually come out of here. Uh, do I? Yes. Yeah. Let's increase the radius and increase the growth. That do. So let's jump back to our spiral. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to translate that over to the side. So I want it coming out of the side there. And I'm going to have a bit coming out of here as well. Okay, that. Now I want the profile. So I want to click on the pad and press space to actually show the padding. Swing this around to the face that I want this the actual um, profile to actually spiral through. Click the face and then create a new sketch on that face. Now I'm still in the part at the moment, so let's jump over to the part design. So I've selected the face and create a new sketch or create a new sketch from the task here. So let's create a new sketch. Let's put this in the right orientation. So I'm going to just zoom in here and I'm going to start here. So you can see where my spiral is coming out. I'm going to start here and I'm going to have a circle that goes into about there. That'll do. Close that. So you can now see how that's going to actually spiral in. Um, I may make that circle a bit smaller so I'm going to jump over to model. Now double click on the circle. Bring that down a bit. Zoom in. Control shift plus. Zoom in. Bring this down. Out there. Close that. Sketch 001 is a profile, so rename that to profile, or whatever name you want to call it. Spiral is our path, so that's obvious. Click the profile, click the sweeper selected sketch along a, along a path to other profiles and remove it from the body, or go to the part design and go to the subject, subtractive pipe. Profiles have already been selected. Click Object and select the actual spiral that's in there. So you can see it's in there. And select that. And let that do its stuff. So that's done that. Hit OK. And what it'll do is copy or copy the spiral um, part into your body. Select OK with that one. And wait a few seconds. And there we go. So that's all been subtracted out. Zoom in. There we go. And that's another way of actually removing material. So whatever way you choose, um, it's best to actually select the the quickest and less processor intensive way. So that in, that means the least amount of operations. So it's best to experiment with. The different ones that I've shown you just to get a feel of how they all work together. If you like what you're seeing please subscribe to my site and also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars or whatever your currency is and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0 and there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get 
push back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.